today I thought it would be cool to look at all the things that could kill us in 2021. Because if 2020 didn't do it already, 2021 could. Hey, you guys come here for the positive energy. I'm gonna be honest, there are a lot of things out there that could kill us at any given time. A piano could fall on your head. Literally, a piano, it's happened. Why yes it has, Diane. In 1931, a piano was being hoisted up to the second story of an apartment block when it broke free and killed a man walking below. Something that comes up frequently when I'm talking about trips to America is people telling me to go and visit the Yellowstone Park. And now that I've looked into it, I think that that suggestion has some ominous undertones. I'm pretty sure a lot of you want me to die. Cause Yellowstone is basically Armageddon slash the apocalypse, I don't know the difference, waiting to happen. I think Armageddon is the religious one and the apocalypse is the more scientific one, but I may stand corrected, let me know. Here's what I know about Yellowstone. Apparently it's a cool place to visit and also underneath it is a huge volcano that could kill a lot of people, basically wiping out a large part of America and possibly the world, just depending on if it's a super explosion or not. I'm interested to learn more, so that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, won't you join me in this cheery exploration of how we could all die. Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe because serious note, apparently YouTube is going through subscribers and getting rid of people who are inactive for a really long time and inadvertently unsubscribing people who want to be subscribed. So just to check, to check, check you are subscribed if you want to be, uh, that would be super duper. Or you might die. Okay, no, that's too dark. Here we go. The super volcano that has scientists freaking out. Here we go. Directly under the national park, one face? of the most visited in the world, lies a plume of liquid magma five miles deep. Itself fed by a huge plume of molten rock that boils up from deep beneath the Earth's She's crust. Scared. The churning magma directly beneath Yellowstone is so voluminous that it regularly causes the entire national park to rise and fall by inches at a time. From oh time gosh. to time, the pressure beneath Yellowstone gets to be too much and a volcanic eruption occurs, although overwhelmingly these are relatively minor and are comparable <laughs> in size to a moderately sized traditional volcano. However, sorry, I have to pause it there. A minor volcano. I know there was a huge volcanic explosion this year which killed loads of tourists and that freaks me out because you would think that because it's 2021 and you know the future and blah that we would have like science that could say a oh, volcano is gonna go off you could all die get out of the area but no we are advanced but not that advanced nothing can stop a volcano or predict its exact explosion time. That is what is so terrifying about volcanoes. Okay, carry on video. Every 600,000 years or so, the pocket of magma beneath Yellowstone builds up so much pressure that the entire park explodes outwards in an incredibly violent event known as a supervolcano eruption. Such super an eruption volcano. can have widespread consequences for the entire Earth, enveloping the planet in volcanic <laughs> ash and plummeting global temperatures, causing a small ice age which can decimate all life. In North America, though An extinction is all but guaranteed, we should thank our lucky stars that these super eruptions happen so rarely. Yet today, scientists rarely? have confirmed that Yellowstone but not can never. and will blow its top in a super eruption by the end of this year, 2019 or at any time in the next 400,000 years. By discovering geological evidence of past Yellowstone we eruptions, scientists have we been able know. to pinpoint three major eruptions, with the first being 2.1 million years ago, the second 1.3 million years ago, and the third 630,000 years ago. This has led some scientists I mean, look to at predict our look that Yellowstone is likely to blow again in the next half million I think years it's gonna or so, this meaning year. that it could happen as soon as tomorrow. Hunch. It could happen by the time you finish watching this video. But as many scientists point out, three data points is far from sufficient for establishing a reliable pattern. Right now, Yellowstone <sighs> seems okay. to have a recurrence interval of Science. between 500,000 and 1 million years, which would put us overdue for a major eruption. Yet with only We're three overdue. data We're points, overdue. the previous eruption cycles could have been abnormalities and not an actual pattern. Yellowstone might never explode again, instead maintaining low-level volcanic activity until the North American tectonic plate slides away from the bubble of hot magma under Yellowstone. Or Yellowstone could be waiting for you to fall asleep tonight, to murder you and everyone you love in your sleep. There's just no way to tell with such little data. If or when Yellowstone blows, though, it's going to be one for the record books. If there's any humans Hooray. left alive to keep records, 
That last eruption 640,000 years ago ejected 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, enough to bury all of Texas five feet deep in volcanic ash. Texas, By no, not one of the Texas. largest eruptions in the modern age happened when the Novarupta volcano blew its top in 1912, resulting in 13 cubic kilometers of material. That's basically the difference between a hand grenade and a 2,000 pound bunker busting munition. But what if Yellowstone woke up tomorrow and decided it was sick and Where's tired me? of all the tourists taking <gasps> selfies Actually, no, I'm the one what shopping. What if at last Yellowstone punched our ticket and did its best to wipe out the entire human race? If you're caught in the actual explosion, then your body, down to the bones, will become part of the giant ash cloud belching up into the sky. Pompeii. Magma up to 2400 it's degrees not incinerates just in the your past. body. But not before superheated and very toxic gases that envelop you fry your lungs to carbon. Death is instantaneous, with the incredible heat in your brain in milliseconds and causing Love your skull that. to explode outwards from the buildup of steam. Congratulations, because you're the cheerful one content of the lucky you came here for. Ones. For the rest of us, Yellowstone has a much longer, lingering death in store. Volcanic explosions rock an area of about 40 miles or so. Okay, I was going to say at least it'll be quick. Well, maybe not. Over the next few weeks, a whopping 240 cubic miles of ejecta is spit out by the Yellowstone volcano, though only about a third of it makes it into the atmosphere. That's more than enough, however, to bury the entirety of the northern Rockies in an astonishing three feet of ash. Uh -huh. Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and no! Utah are all paralyzed by the Not extremely Middle acidic America, ash. Residents why? of these states will begin to die by the thousands due to the inhalation of ash, which fills the lungs and suffocates, but also cuts and lacerates the lungs and trachea thanks to the very sharp and jagged particles of glass. That's how you're Venting gonna go, Wyoming. Venting highly noxious gases across the 40 mile eruption zone also spread suffocating and toxic gases across hundreds of miles of terrain, making its way into the underground shelters of the few survivors who lived through the initial explosion. Hydrogen sulfide and other gases kill tens of thousands in their sleep, silently suffocating victims. Three feet of ash also paralyze industry and Silently travel. Suffocating. Roads are impassable, and the very one. fine ash wreaks havoc in vehicles, damaging electronics and gumming up even the most robust engines. Emergency services are effectively shut down, and air travel in the region is impossible. Anyone caught in the area of the northern Rockies is doomed, with no hope for escape. To make matters worse, the ash also winds its way into rivers and lakes, even down to the subsurface aquifers, where it poisons the water. Millions of thirsty survivors are forced to drink brackish water which slowly poisons them, killing them in a matter of weeks mm, or even days. Water. In a few days, the ash clouds move over the Midwest and lay down thick carpets of black ash half a foot thick. By day four of the eruption, no air travel across the heart of the United States is possible. And here too, the ash paralyzes all forms of ground transportation as well. Power plants shut down, their equipment damaged like by the ash clouds, of or starved of the oil and gas they need to the operate, apocalypse. thanks to a nationwide the traffic shutdown. To make matters stuff. worse, the Midwest grows the majority of the U.S.'s crops, and the thick ash suffocates all vegetation. Here too, the ash poisons water supplies, and clean drinking water becomes an extreme rarity. By the end of the week, an inch or two Heard of ash has fallen anyway. on both the east and west coast. Despite being so close to Yellowstone, prevailing wind patterns have prevented much of the ash from making its way to California and other west coast states, although now they find themselves with two inches of dangerous volcanic ash. The fine particles wreak havoc on electronics, and much of America's modern infrastructure is destroyed. Just about every Hooray. drinking source in the United States is contaminated to some degree, and FEMA rushes to try and provide decontamination to, to a surviving population of 300 million. The rest of the world breathes a sigh of relief. They That's have, after all, avoided the biggest bullet in the history of mankind. Yet, Probably not, what they though. don't realize is that the Yellowstone oh. eruption has put millions upon millions of tons of sulfur aerosols into the atmosphere, so and these scared. begin to reflect sunlight back into space. Within weeks, the entire planet is wrapped in a cloak of sulfuric particles, right. and so much sunlight is being reflected back into space that global temperatures oh, drop fish, by a deep. degree. Winter officially lasts for 80 years, a prediction based off the effects of two previous eruptions. Mankind digs in for an 80-year Game of Thrones LARP event, because winter no. is officially here, and it's not leaving for 8 We'll be so cold! So regions of the planet may You'll remain have to wear habitable, and all crops the time. may be sustainable in that. small numbers along the equatorial regions of the planet. However, the vast majority of humanity will die off, and those that survive will quickly learn to stay out of direct sunlight, no matter how cold they are. Yet, it's important to remember that terrifying as this scenario is, scientists are reasonably sure that there's little reason to worry, as Yellowstone may never erupt again, or it could erupt tonight while you're sleeping. Like we said, <laughs> there's just not no enough data solid. points to know for sure. Is anyone else profoundly stressed out after that?
If you didn't know already, we could die at any time. Which you knew already, theoretically, but... Like, you could actually die at any time from the new Pompeii. I heard that they recently discovered some more stuff in Pompeii. A group of guys were just at a bar drinking. That could be you. You could be one of the people who are just out enjoying a nice beer. And then, phew, the apocalypse. Anyway. Happy 2021. Chewie's gonna do some shout outs now. Shout out to the Comic Girls crew and all my friends over on Patreon. Thank you so much to all of you. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you to the Karma Girls crew on Patreon. You guys rock. You do. That's it for today's video, bye. Yeah, we're in a different room, buddy. What do you think? You haven't quite found your spot yet, have you? No. I gifted these to my niece last Christmas because they're the same as the ones that I use on my channel and I borrowed them off her because I'm in Spain, if you hadn't figured it out. A massive bubble of magma slowly making its way to the surface, magma. riding along that we're surrounded by liquid hot magma.